hi hello everyone in this video we are going to see about the adding links and picture in your HTML so normally uh, the links from for the other sites and other websites and, and are the URL links which can be added in your uh, HTML program with an angular bracket of a anchor tag with a hyperlink uh, reference tags so so the link can be made by a uh, using the common structure as a angular tag a with a hypertext reference tag then the link which we need to insert that you uh, it can be link or a url that need to be inserted within that angular bracket then the name of the content need to be mentioned after all we need to close those angular bracket this is the common structure for adding a link or a url in your html for adding an image this is the commonly used structure so this is an unpaired tag which we use img src which means image source uh, the file type the uh, file name which we already saved in our uh, desktop or uh, uh, in our document files then the file type then alt is our uh, labeling which means the image names for uh, detailing then width and the height can be defined by ourselves so that it will be a user defined uh, image in our result so coming to the main structure right now i have started writing the structure in our notepad plus plus as i have mentioned uh, first i will go with the links that need to be copied and pasted in our output so angular a is angular tag and hr if, uh, is your hyperlink reference tag so the link i have copied from uh, uh, google and uh, just i am pasting it now so for that we need to give a naming of your content so the content name I have given as a Batman begins. Then I need to close this angular bracket because it is a pad attack. So I will close that A angular tag. Next, for adding the picture or image, I am I will use the tag as a img src, which means your uh, image source, and uh, further the saved file name will be mentioned within that uh, quotation double quotation marks. Mainly, if you check the document properties, means the uh, type of that uh, image will be mentioned. So we need to mention the exact type of the image. For me, I am using the JPG image, so I am mentioning the JPG as a file type. And the alt is your uh, alternative, which means you are uh, uh, describing the detailing of your image. Right now, I am going to um, execute as a full image. Like what the downloaded image is coming, I am going to execute with the full length of uh, the image without mentioning the length and the with, uh, with what I am going to uh, modify so the angular tax what uh, what we are uh, opened at the starting that uh, all need to be closed then only 
we need to save the file in html format and then we need to execute by using the local browsers so the document what i have used here i'm just mentioning the document the bat document what i have used and that uh, file type is jpg so So once again I am saving the documents because uh, I have pre previously I have mentioned in a text file as a text file so I am right now changing that into a HTML file and then only I am going to execute it which means we need to view that in our local browser. So this is your end result uh, right now the links which uh, added is mentioned over a downside and the picture it came as a full picture right now we can click on the link and go to the corresponding page and also this uh, picture right now it is in a full screen picture we are going to execute as per our requirement or as per the needed modification can be done So for that I am going to add a width and the length of the uh, image. It's upon our decision. If normally uh, while adding the length and the width, uh, uh, if at all we are going to mention and the uh, the parameters what we required, like it it can be in a centimeter or it can be in a pixels or it can be in a mm, that can be mentioned as per our requirement. If at all we don't know the requirement means we are going to just check right now. So I have not mentioned any of the parameters. So automatically it will take in a picture pixels level. The picture the image will be taken in a pixels level only if at all we are not mentioning any kind of parameters means. Once again, we have saved the file and uh, right now executed the file. So, as per my requirement, now the picture got modified. As I said, since I have not mentioned any parameters in here, so it will automatically take as a pixel uh, as our uh, input data. So, hope you all understand. I think so. See you in the next video. Have a nice day. Nandri Wanakam.